after this, uh, I'll create a uh, uh, new grid. And OK, new data grid. OK, so now um, import. And I'm going to import uh, um, all four. Uh, these are narrow scans, uh, not the full scan like uh, survey scan. So each element we picked had the um, narrow scan specific. Sometimes you have to modify it, but usually you know they pick the right um, range for you. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> OJ is shown just for the heck of it, right? What it looked like. So I'm going to uh, select, um, oops, this one, this one. No, it's not selecting. Okay, finally. <clears throat> so uh, not to select the uh, OJ. And then um, this one here as the background, right? So click and add, uh, peak add. So um, we are using a smart um, background we talked about in a class. So we um, say add to all the ones that I selected. All right? So um, they give you approximate atomic percentage. It's very close to the survey data. And then um, we'll pick the uh, carbon first, usually. <clears throat> Almost all the um, data we analyze use the carbon to do the uh, peak shift, all right? And selected the uh, um, carbon 1S. And they go to this icon, and they, we do the fitting. this to the side a little bit and uh, um, go to this peak fit window all right the first one is already added <coughs> right first peak and uh, to add the second one you have to go add um, there's a peak right and then they this is a higher peak so they try to add this one but I like to make it go to right here and the third one, yes, over there. So pull this down a little bit. <clears throat> so we have the uh, first peak over here, and the second peak, and third peak. So this is the CC or CH bond, and this one will be a CO bond, and then this will be C double O bond. And uh, come back here and uh, fit um, this level. It's pretty fast. So um, they look pretty good. Um, you could change this um, Laurentian to Gaussian, but uh, I think it fitted so well. It's what do we have to do for the carbon today. Carbon is not that important. So uh, we only want to know where the, uh, the peak of the CC bond is, and which is at uh, 284. 0.58, and uh, we want to make this um, go to 284.80. That means we have to add 0 0.22 eb. And uh, so you say, okay. All right. Now we we'll click on this square to select the entire series of spectrum. Spectra, sorry. <laughs> and then use this uh, yellow arrow and then click that. All right. So we can use the uh, shift to the peak. We can find the element and then make it go shift. But I like to do it by hand. So shift, we said, was uh, we have to go uh, 0 0.22. You gotta click this to be um, do the uh, right amount. Right? Make sure always you click this. Okay, and then you have to plus shift. So 
with this one. Okay, and then accept. So if you uh, click this to look at it, so the first peak CC bond went to 284.80, and the uh, second one is 286.39 and 288.33. These are pretty much uh, um, something, um, you know, you, you as you get used to it. Uh, you see these values fairly well. Sometimes we fit the uh, carbon peaks with the uh, four different uh, spectra, but this is pretty good. Yeah. So the next one we do is, since it's simpler, we go to oxygen. Let's do that. <clears throat> and again, we pick the oxygen and uh, click this icon to fit it. Again, it does the first one by itself. So you go to the, uh, to add more peaks. Okay, that looks all right. So just say add single peak and then uh, second one. I mean, sorry, third one. All right. And uh, um, try to fit this. Okay, and then go back, fit the peaks and then it's running crazy a little bit. Programs running, changing parameters, trying to best fit this. Uh, the uh, okay. Um, it took uh, 45 iterations. The maximum was 200. And uh, this one, I don't like it because uh, um, this one here, one of them is going nuts. Not that one, but this one. Okay, 3.5 is too wide. So I'm gonna make this thing go less um, maybe three point, all right, and then move it back to this edge right here. Um, so I'm gonna restrict these two, um, 3.3. This one is very narrow, um, 3.3, about, okay. Again, this is kind of, um, you get used to this. Make them fit again. Okay, it finished the job fairly fast. 1.24, 1.8, this is two. And uh, here it doesn't fit that well still. So in that case, the uh, we can play with the Lorentz theorem to um, Gaussian mix ratio, right? And then click this one. Okay, now they're not restricted, but I'm gonna add my own value so um, 30 column seven. So this will restrict our uh, move uh, between 30 and 70%. Okay, so this tail portion, portion fit very well at the 70 because Lorentzian kind of uh, spreads out. Um, okay, so this seemed to be pretty good. Um, this one is such a small one that I don't think it matters if you use a 2 or 2.3 so we leave it at 2 anyway so okay and then we'll say okay all right <clears throat> next one is kind of a little bit of pain in the butt